Hello. Today I would like to talk about balancers and a specific type of balancer called a lane balancer that is also a priority balancer. So a priority lane balancer. It can prove to be very useful for your production needs when it comes to smelting and the other products as well. Why is that? Uh, when you use productivity modules, especially in smelting, uh, you end up with uh, some more left in your smelting lanes because there is not a one-to-one -one input to output ratio. Uh, that uh, leftover ore is uh, basically useless, nevertheless, uh, you have to provide it in order to get a compressed belt of materials in as an output. So, for eight uh, lanes of uh, smelting, you need eight lanes of input. But with the priority lane balancer, you can uh, use seven lanes of input and get 10, 8 lanes of output. Uh, essentially utilizing your uh, productivity modules uh, in full. Uh, how do you do this? Well, you do this with a lane balancer that also outputs uh, every stalling belt material to a single belt or two belts or whatever you want for your needs that is also lane balanced as well. Uh, let me show you a bit what happens here. This is a six to seven lane balancer. So when I put it here, I get things running. As you can see, initially you get just six lanes of output. But here is when the magic happens. What do I mean by that? When uh, a belt stalls, then all the excessive material gets gathered in one belt and it's also lane balanced as well so gradually and it won't take too much time to be frank you will see that it gets filled more and more until it gets compressed as well and you can see that gradually you get from six lanes of input, seven lanes of output that is also compressed, as you will see in a bit. There you go. That's it. It takes uh, some time uh, because it utilizes uh, the kickback effect from uh, your belts. But, the result is uh, having an output that is uh, completely compressed as well while utilizing less input belts. Now, uh, it's also very small, nothing uh, extreme. Now, uh, someone might ask, is it possible to do this with balancers, with the common balancers you see out there? Yes and uh, no. Let me explain what I mean by that. Let's use a common balancer. Here I have one of Rehnquist's balancer that is also a 6 to 7 balancer this one over here okay let's take and uh, use one of the common balancers first of all it's gigantic okay as you can see 
18 splitters, 16 underground, value this has 6 splitters and 4 underground. Now, let's take this one and use it and see what happens. First of all, let's make it a bit empty the belts a bit and put this one. Now, this uh, doesn't use a kickback effect, it uh, basically splits evenly the belts, but it's not lane balancing and uh, the consumption is lane imbalanced. Uh, what does this result? Well, you will see in a bit. Well, this is a balancer when it comes to, co to production. It's not that useful on its own. Why? When you do that, well, this is the result you get. You won't be getting a fully compressed output belts. And things won't get better with time. If anything, they might get worse, to be frank. You won't be getting from this balancer uh, compressed output because it is not a lane balance. Of course, there is a way to fix that. What is that? Well, you can achieve the same thing if you get this balancer that is 6 to 7 and use a lane balancer that is 1 to 1 for its lane and put it there. Now, Let's see the result if we do that. You will use a common balancer and then a lane balancer. Let's see the result. Now, we go from this terrible output that won't be fixed, believe me. Okay. Now we have lane balancers, okay, that are one to one. And there we go. We get the same result with uh, the priority lane balancers that I showed you before. But what is the catch? The catch is that all this little thing with 32 splitters and 37 undergrounds etc etc uh, has the same result with this little thing over here the exact same result you get from all this as a result for your production needs always uh, is the same with this both are 6 to 7 and you save one belt every 7. So, especially if you aim for a mega base, uh, that means in every 70 smelting setups, you save 10. You need 60 uh, copper, iron ore, etc. And uh, here I have a more common for a, a 7 to 8 uh, design here of a lane balancer and you can see the result as well the output all this time is completely compressed this is a 7 to 8 balancer okay and if we compare the 7 to 8 balancer to this one yeah there is a big difference and this one needs also lane balancer as well this does both it both balances and lane balances at the same time while being significantly smaller and uh, easier to make uh, I made a book with uh, all these balancers I made and uh, with suggestion for your production needs 
this six to seven balancer, for example, takes six lanes, gives seven. Good for iron plates, copper plates, and stone bricks. And stone bricks, you will need a lot of stone bricks. But anyway, the residue left in the belt is just 0.16 blue belt for every seven lanes of smelting. It leaves very little uh, residue. Uh, now, uh, there is also a 6 to 8 uh, balancer I have here that takes X, 6 lanes as input and that puts 8 while in balance it and it's very good for green circuits with a compressed belt output. The residue left in belt is just 0.29 blue belts of iron plates for every 8 lanes of green circuits. I have this one working right here, right here for green circuits. It's a 6 to 8 uh, lane balancer and it was just fine. Uh, Nevertheless, I don't use a uh, all uh, for copper, so it might be a bit deceiving here, to be frank. But uh, yes, believe me, it works just fine. It it works here. Okay, this is a six to eight uh, balancer, and uh, there's another balancer that I made. This is for steel smelting, that also gives you a compressed output it's a 7 to 9 lens balancer uh, that uh, you can use to save uh, two lanes of uh, iron ore for every nine lanes uh, of uh, steel production that uh, you need and you get two blue lanes of output and uh, here is the balancer it uses seven lanes of input as you can see gives nine output it lane balances all the excessive material into the two extra belts and uh, otherwise you would need to use all these things with 44 and uh, 57 underground to 12 and 6 underground uh, the difference is huge, I believe. The result, if I put this, is the same. The same thing will happen as it happens here. If I cut this and put this one, you get the same result. Same here. If I cut this little thing and put all this here, you will miles the same result. But at what cost? At cost of UPS when you go to mega base and everything matters since you use way more splitters way more splitters and uh, yeah that's it in this book I have uh, other balances as well that you might find useful and a suggestion where in a production uh, you might need them. Okay. Anyway, this is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will upload a blueprint with uh, all these balancers. I hope you find them useful. They are they can be very useful, especially the bigger you go, you save, you can save a lot of input, and I believe and UPS, uh, building just a couple of uh, splitters to save uh, belts uh, of uh, mining material. I don't think, uh, while I haven't tested it, I'm pretty sure it can compare just a couple of splitters to having to mine and transport uh, many lanes of material around uh, anyway hope you enjoy it hope you find all these things useful leave a like subscribe please and uh, thank you see you next time bye bye